It's Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity with your succulent tip of the day. And I am in my personal garden. Um, I've got an update for you. A number of years ago, probably four, I did a very long video um, where I planted out what I called affectionately the trash can area. You're going to find that it's going to happen as you become more and more addicted to these plants you're going to start looking for more and more places to put them. And this is where we used to house our trash cans. And I told Greg, oh no, that's prime real estate. I want to do a tapestry in here. And I was just starting to get my feet wet with tapestry work. And I, you know, this seemed like a really good place to do it. And it was. And I enjoyed it for a number of years. But as time went by and I developed more and more areas of my garden and I became more sophisticated as a designer, you know, this is the trash can area. Nobody sees it except for us when we take out the trash. So I decided, you know what? I don't want to fuss around here with the tapestry. I don't want to, you know, that's a lot of maintenance. So I'm going to just instead turn this into an agave specimen garden. So I have a beautiful perii. I love agave perii. I have a, next door to that, I have an agave blue glow. I have a mediopicta alba. And I've got, what is this guy? Titanota, a little agave Titanota that had been in a pot for a really long time. So now I've got one, two, three, four agaves in here. I want to show you what, what draw, drew my attention out here to begin with was I noticed that a gopher had visited the garden. Check that out. And uh, so, you know, I was cleaning up and, you know, just tidying up around it. And old Medio Picta here felt a little loose. So sure enough, turns out the gopher ate all the roots on my medio picked up. But you know what? No worries. I'm in no hurry for this bad boy to grow because he could get twice the size. And I wanted to remove all the pups off of it too because I like the idea of this as a specimen. So I just cleaned it up, checked to be sure there weren't any insects or snout weevil or anything of, the nature, of that nature in the soil, uh, made sure that it was fairly dry. And then I just set old Medio picked it back down in the hole. And there we have it. Don't panic. Look, does it, does it look like there's anything wrong with this plant? There is nothing wrong, nothing whatsoever. This plant will throw off new roots and start all over again. So no problem. Ah, in the gutters. That was another video we did for you where, where Greg assembled, you know, from start to finish these plastic gutters, which we got at the local box store. They're plastic. Greg drilled holes in them about six inches apart, put caps on the ends, leveled them, hung them. Then I came back in here with some soil and I planted a bunch of cuttings. This is a area of the garden that gets morning, morning shade and some later afternoon sun, but pretty much bright light all day. So it is a great, great place uh, or nursery for succulents. It's just the perfect little exposure and microclimate, as is evidenced by all of these cuttings that have since rooted. I feel like this has been in here for about a year, almost a year and a half, right? Yeah, Greg is nodding his head yes. And currently there's not a darn thing that needs to happen with it. Everything is flourishing. In, I don't know, another six months to a year, I might have to take it apart and reset some things because as you know, succulents grow. But man, it has been absolutely carefree for the last year and a half. So uh, what else can I tell you? As you can see down here, you know, I've still maintained the rock work. I've got some boulder. I've got some rubble. I've got some burgundy lava, some black. I've got some, you know, Palm Springs gold, Southwest brown, kind of a hodgepodge. I've got a pretty flagstone right here so I can step in and work on my gutters. Um, all in all, it's just really, really sustainable, beautiful little carefree area in the garden. I hope this has inspired you to get outside today. This has been Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity in my backyard with your succulent tip of the day.